All that storm damage may have you asking, should I be concerned about my roof? WDRB's Brian Martin has a checklist you'll want to follow. If your neighborhood felt the high winds, you might want to check out the roof over your head. A lot of the damage you might not be able to see with your own eye. A few points here. Now, you'll want to go up to your attic and see if you notice any water stains or any other kind of damage. And you also might want to take a walk around your house and look at the shingles. Are they lying flat? Do you see any cracks or any kind of damage? And does your roof look like it's sagging or, or dropping or caving in? Now, if you find yourself saying yes to any of these, you may want to call your insurance company or a local roofer. Something Chase Bryan is with Deer Park oh, Roofing. He says high winds can cause the seal of shingles to break, but not blow off. I always tell people shingles aren't waterproof. They're designed to shed water. So if you break that seal, Next time we get a wind driven rain, you're more likely to get water get up underneath your shingles and find its way in the house. Bryant says having a professional put a second eye on your roof is not a bad idea either. We love going out and doing consultations. We work with local insurance companies. He says not every issue like shingle replacement requires the entire roof to be replaced. When you have storms like this, you'll have companies come in town. And they're coming in town because there's uh, an influx of damage and they're going to get business from it and then when they're done they'll leave uh, and that leaves the homeowners with with no one to call if they have issues in the future and a reputable company that's local is what brian says is your best bet have them come out and take a look and reevaluate brian says roofs are designed to be there long term so just like your car you do routine maintenance and make sure you get the most out of that vehicle you'll want to do the same with your roof Brian Martin, WDRB News.